high on Beard Mailbox, and I know I've already touched on the LA move last week, but the move by the Rams and possibly the Chargers got me thinking, what happens to the old stadiums when teams move out of town? Most stadiums tend to be owned by the city, county or state that they are located in, or by companies who build stadiums to lease them out. And this is really down to the fact that hosting an NFL team is great business, so the city or whoever pays for most of the development, and why would NFL owners spend their own money when they are easily offered these cheaper alternatives? It also means that when a team leaves, the stadium doesn't always become obsolete. When a team moves within the city, the old stadiums are often demolished quite quickly, and such was the case with the 49ers and Patriots relocating, for example, and Candlestick Park was fully demolished by September 2015, and even that was behind the original schedule. However, when a team leaves the city, obviously there's still the need for a stadium for other events that it previously hosted, whereas when they moved within the city, the new stadium would obviously take care of all of that. A few stadiums are owned by the teams, but I was surprised to find out that the Cowboys AT&T Stadium is owned by the city of Arlington. As a matter of fact, to help Jerry Jones in building the stadium, the city of Arlington raised a number of tax rates to cover the $325 million given. The NFL also gave a loan of $150 million, but that's no surprise when you consider the construction cost, which was around $1.4 billion. An even more interesting note is that Robert Kraft, the owner of the New England Patriots, covered 100% of the cost of building Gillette Stadium, which is an extremely rare occurrence in the NFL, but in comparison to AT&T, Gillette Stadium did cost three times less. Okay, so that is all kind of irrelevant, but it does explain why stadiums don't always disappear as soon as teams leave. So I've already covered teams moving within the city, and those stadiums are pretty much, as a rule, always demolished rather quickly. But of course, there are cases where teams leave a said city, and what happens in those circumstances isn't always as clear-cut. There are, however, other stadiums, like the Astrodome in Houston, Texas, which can remain standing for years despite no longer serving any real purpose. The Astrodome was inherited by the Houston Oilers and the baseball team Houston Astros, but the Oilers left for Tennessee in 1996, becoming the Tennessee Titans, and the Astros negotiated themselves a new ballpark in the city in the year 2000. After that, the last major event to take place there was a concert in 2003, and apart from serving as a refuge for victims of Hurricane Katrina in 2005, the stadium has been unused until it was deemed unenterable by fire codes in 2008, and it stood in the same condition ever since. That means there's just a huge dome stadium sat somewhere in Houston, not being used whatsoever, they're probably just charging so you can park your cars there, but that's about the height of its use by this point. And it makes me wonder what will happen to the Edward Jones Dome? The Astro Dome was the world's first multi-purpose domed sports stadium and was the first major sports venue to feature artificial turf, hence the name AstroTurf. Despite this, the Astrodome is now unused, and on the other hand, the Edward Jones Dome was voted the worst NFL stadium in a Sports Illustrated poll by St. Louis fans, and in 2012, the Dome was ranked by Time Magazine as the seventh worst major sports stadium in America. Heck, the reason the Rams were able to break their lease and move to LA so easily was because the Dome failed to be ranked in the top tier of NFL stadiums through the 2015 season. The company that owns the Dome obviously isn't going to want to just simply destroy it, but if they don't, it's probably just going to end up like the Astro Dome, stood there not serving a purpose and becoming too dangerous just to take down. Anyway, I made this video because I was interested in what happens, and I thought you might be as well. I hope you enjoyed learning some useless information about NFL stadiums, and I hope you come back for more. Oh, play that funky music, white boy.